All right, guys. Hello, guys. It's me. I'm out for my daily walk, or out for a daily walk. Many of you will remember this is one of my favorite places to walk. Not too many people are out right now, but there are quite a few people out. This is the boardwalk. Today is Tuesday. Let's take a look at the geese on the boardwalk. Let's see. They're running away, but I, they're, they're actually in my way. Hopefully they will move and we'll see. So I had a very productive day today. I want to thank one of my friends, Donna. Donna had an accountability party today, but we have lots of those. And what we do is try to get quite a bit, get quite a bit done. And I was able to get a lot done. Shout out to the winner of the free English class with me. The person that won the free class contest is from Egypt. I'm looking very much forward to our class. I hope that you are too. Think about the topic that you would like to have and we'll go from there. For those of you who are watching and you're interested in a free class with me, then it depends upon the number of comments you make on any number of YouTube. Now, it doesn't mean just make one comment and another comment on the same video because one video counts as one entry into the contest. So be sure that you are watching more than one. For those of you who are not interested in paid classes, this is an excellent way to practice your English. And if you tell me specifically the type of class you'd like for me to produce for you, not so much a full class, but to give you some tips and ideas as to how you can get better at what you're doing in terms of English. Tell me what you're currently doing and then I can give you some ideas how to expand on what you're doing. If you ask me to give you grammar tips, the grammar tips will always be the same. Google what you're looking for on the internet. Just put your grammar question in there and that would be the same answer most likely you would get from me because I do not teach grammar. What I'm a specialist in is in conversation. As an adult, you have the what was all to study grammar, but you may not have the what was all to practice with someone to speak. So speaking is not teaching grammar. They are totally two different things. So let's be clear on that. So if you just watch the videos, not just mine, you can watch anybody's video on YouTube and get lots of valuable information. But I'm suggesting that if you want a class with me, that you make a comment on many different videos and you may be the winner. So the winner for this week has until July 8th midnight in his country or her country to get back with me for the free class. So the contest starts every Monday night at midnight and it goes for 12, not 12, it goes for seven days. So it's one week. Let's see, I can see that, let me stop. Ajit, I can understand, but when I come to speak, I fumble. Well, Ajit, most likely, the reason you start to fumble when you're speaking in English is because you're not speaking in English frequently. If you get a speaking partner that you can practice with every day, maybe every other day, 
then you will find that your uncomfortableness would not be as severe as it might be now. You can also practice with some of the videos that I have online. There are some specific videos online that will give you an opportunity to practice speaking, but you need to work on that. Find the ones that are geared toward that. And if you can't find one, just send me a message and I will give you a suggestion. And that would be one video that you could start with to improve your speaking. So it's, it's a myth. It's a myth to say that you need to have someone specifically to speak with. That's not true. It isn't necessary that you have someone to speak with. It's better, in my opinion, if you have someone to speak with. But it is not a necessary requirement to have someone to speak with if you want to practice your English. Let's see. Jafar. Hey, Jafar. Thanks for stopping on today. I'm Dr. Priscilla. I am a native English speaker and I live in the U.S. Today I'm out on my daily walk. I'm out at the boardwalk and it's a huge lake. Let's, let me turn it around so you can see this huge lake. Hey Kamal, thanks for joining me today. And I'm trying to turn my camera around so that you can see, see the lake. But for some reason, it's not turning. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? The lake is beautiful. And I'm out on the trail. And while walking the trail, I thought I'd bring you all along with me. So today, I worked on a project. I worked on a project for three hours. Woo! And every hour, we checked in to see how far along we were with what we were working on. And I was able to get a tremendous amount of work done today. So I say congratulations to me for that. Uh, yes, Kamal, I am definitely staying safe. As you can see, there's no one out here on the lake, really, but I me. Mean, there's a couple people behind me, but there's a lot of distance. So I think I'm relatively safe out here today. I hope that you can hear me. I think that you can hear me clearly. And I see that M. Ben, you can't see the lake? Okay. Now can you see the lake? It is simply gorgeous. I was walking, I was showing you the path, but this is the lake. The lake is gorgeous. But I think you can hear me since you said that you couldn't see the lake and I was talking about the lake. And here's a sign. And when you're learning English, stop and read all the signs. It says no soliciting, no skateboarding, no bicycle riding, no rollerblading, and no fishing. I can tell you that they do not honor the no fishing because I have seen people out here fishing and they've got big fish in this lake as well. There are huge fish in this lake. Okay, so now you see the lake. Isn't it beautiful, M. Ben? It's a beautiful lake. Now you're back on the path and I'll turn it back to me for a minute. Now you're back to me. So, I'm not going to walk, but just maybe one mile, one mile today. Oh, let me show you the geese that I'm coming up with. I'm walking up on these geese. So, they are scattered throughout the walkway. If I don't bother them, I think they won't bother me. So, I'm just going to walk past them without bothering them. But they're beautiful little animals. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But they make such a mess. All right, so I've now passed the geese. Oh, come back to me. Thank you guys for being with me on my walk today. 
It's a pleasant day. The weather's good. It's a great day for a walk. And normally I don't walk in my neighborhood. I like to come out to the park and walk. It's so peaceful and restful out here. Now if I take my glasses off, I can't read if anyone is writing something. But I can think. So I come out here and walk and think. And I think about you guys a lot. I think about how I can best help you become proficient and fluent in English. So for those of you, again, if you're just coming on, I'm Dr. Priscilla. I am a native English speaker and I live in the U.S. I enjoy working with students who are seeking to become fluent in English and any way that I can help you let me know and I'll do my best to do that also if you hey Rami it's nice to see you today I can try to bring you on camera Rami but I don't know that it will work but I'll try I have to waving so I'm waving back and Shalini it's good to see you as well it's good to see you as well Shalini thanks for joining me today guys yes I live in a beautiful city it is so pretty and today is one of those exceptional days when the weather is nice it's not too crowded it rained a little earlier, but it isn't raining now. All right, so Rami, I tried to add you, but it doesn't work. I tried to add you, but it doesn't work. So what do you want me to know, Rami? What do you want me to know? Tell me what you want me to know, and then I will try and respond to it. I want you to I want to thank M Ben for being here today. Rami, thank you for coming on today. Zafar, thank you for coming. And Kamel, thank you for coming. And all of those that are watching live but not responding. Thank you, Ajit, for being here today. And for those of you that will watch the replay, thank you so much for being here. Now I'm going to turn back to the lake as I'm walking up. And you'll see what is called the boardwalk. It's that white area. Let's see if I can make it. It's a white bridge. I'm still a ways away from it, but it's a bridge. And you walk across the water. It's simply amazing. Okay. Now, for those of you who are trying to decide, I'm going to try and put my selfie on my shoulder. That's what I think I would like someone to make, is to make a selfie that you don't have to hold in your hand because my hand actually gets tired. But if I could put it on my shoulder, like I have it resting on my shoulder now, that would be ideal. And I could carry weights in my hand. And what is it that they say? Necessity is the mother of invention. So maybe when I go home, I may try to do something like that. Maybe make a wire hoop, bend it around my shoulder, hook one end to the selfie stick, and see what happens. I actually don't think that I will do it, but it's an idea, it is an idea. So right now I'm just holding it in my hand. And you know when you hold something in your hand for quite some time, it starts to cramp. That's what my fingers are doing right now. Okay. I'm not breathless. But I have walked 
walk. I'm still walking. Okay, give me a topic. Give me a topic, and then I'll try and discuss it while I'm walking. You know what I say? Rather than this be a monologue, I love dialogues. So let's see. Here's a good place to take a picture. Although I won't take a picture, but you'll get to see the scenery. There's some apartments behind me. But isn't this lovely? Isn't this area behind me just lovely? I'll come back another day and take a picture right here. But if I take a picture now, I'll have to turn this off. And I don't want to do that yet. All right, I'm moving on. So you see, I have my mask. If I can come in contact with anyone, I'll just put my mask on. But I don't think I'll be coming into contact with anyone out here today. Just walked up a few steps. M. Ben, you ask, what do I teach? So you must be new. Are you new? Are you just meeting me for the first time today, M. Ben? I'm Dr. Priscilla. I am a native English speaker. I do live in the United States, and I teach conversational English. You may be asking, how do I teach conversational English? I do it from my computer. This saves the student from having to drive any place to meet with me. You just meet with me at a place that is convenient for you. That place could be a, a restaurant, a coffee shop, the library. It could even be your home, wherever it is convenient for you that you have internet connectivity. Connect with me and we have our classes. So it's a, an orthodox way of learning. You don't need textbooks. You don't need anything other than the technology. So I hope that that helps you understand what I do. I want to encourage you to become active on the Facebook page. I want to encourage you to be active in the YouTube channel. And more importantly, take a moment and start to comment on some of the videos so that you can get a free class with me. How about that? That sounds good? All right. I would love to have you as a student. I am now walking out to the parking lot. I'm going to make a return home now. So here's a restaurant. The restaurants here aren't busy, but this one is open, and they serve seafood, a lot of seafood. And if you look up at the top, there's a hotel. It's the Hilton Hotel. The parking lot looks full, but there are there are a lot of open spaces. Still a lot of open spaces. And here is my car. This blue Honda Civic is my car. And I love my car. The video stopped. Or well, the video paused for a moment. All right, guys, thank you so much for staying with me for a while. I'm Dr. Priscilla. I am the CEO and founder of Speak Excellent English. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, M. Ben, for being here. Thank you, Ramey, for being here. Thank you, Shalini. Thank you, Jeffer. Thank you, Kamal and Ajit. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.